The Galaxy S24 Ultra is now the best phone in the Galaxy S24 series, right? Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think the Galaxy S24 Plus is actually the best phone in the Galaxy S24 series, and here are my reasons why. The first reason why I think the Galaxy S24 Plus is better than the Galaxy S24 Ultra is it doesn't have an S Pen. I know this might be sacrilege saying this to a bunch of Samsung fans around the world, but the S Pen has never really appealed to me. I don't draw, I don't take notes, there's really never been a time that I've thought to myself, hmm, I really could use a stylus right now for my phone. I know there are a lot of people out there that do use it, but for me, it's just taking up space in the phone that I wish it could be taken up by other things. If you took out the S Pen, Samsung could fit in bigger battery, for example. But because the S Pen is there, and because there's no way to get a Galaxy S24 Ultra without the S Pen, it just kind of just fills up extra space and makes the phone more expensive than I need it to be. So the Galaxy S24 Plus beats the Galaxy S24 Ultra by that measure, at least for me personally. Sticking with the design of the phone, another reason that I think the S24 Plus is better than the Ultra is these nice curvy sides that we have here. The Galaxy S24 Ultra has squared off sides, and when you're holding the phone in your palm like this, the edges end up digging into your palm a little bit. It makes the phone uncomfortable to hold for a long period of time. Now, the flat edges of the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus aren't much better, but at the same time, that curve does make a huge difference, especially if you're holding the phone in your hand for more than 15 minutes or so. Granted, this has been a problem that we've seen on the Note line all the way through all the Ultra phones, except for the S21 Ultra, so this is nothing new. It's still a problem that I wish Samsung would fix. Slightly curvier corners on the Galaxy S24 Ultra would have been a nice touch. Speaking of holding the phone in your hand, the Galaxy S24 Plus is a lot lighter than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. By my measurements, the Galaxy S24 Plus is about 16% lighter than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, granted, this is still a big phone and it's still kind of heavy, but it's much smaller and much lighter than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For me, putting the phone in my pocket, keeping it in my backpack, holding it in my hand while I'm on a train or a plane, the weight definitely can make a huge difference in my usability. And because it's lighter, the Galaxy S24 Plus is better for my needs than something huge and heavy like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Another thing that makes the Galaxy S24 Plus better than the Ultra, in my opinion, is these aluminum sides. Samsung is making a big deal out of the titanium sides on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For the record, the S24 and the S24 Plus do not have any titanium. The titanium construction of the Galaxy S24 Ultra is no doubt a dig at Apple, who did the same thing on the recent iPhone 15 series. You might love the titanium construction of a smartphone, but truth be told, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is more expensive to produce because of that titanium than the Galaxy S24 Plus. So really what you're getting at the titanium construction is a more expensive phone. And for what? You're just gonna put it into a case. The number one and most obvious reason why the Galaxy S24 Plus is superior to the Ultra is price. This phone is $300 cheaper than the Galaxy S24 Ultra here in the United States. And saving those $300 doesn't require you to sacrifice that much. You still have a 1440p display that's almost the same size as the Galaxy S24 Ultras. In the United States, you get the same processor, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, which is, as of right now, the best processor in the Android world. You have the same amount of RAM, 12 gigs. You even have the same storage options, except for one terabyte, which is exclusive to the Ultra. You even have the same colorway options, even though some of them are a little darker and different on the Galaxy S24 series. Really, the only thing that the Galaxy S24 Ultra does better than the 24 Plus is the camera. The S24 Ultra has more lenses, it's gonna have much better zoom capabilities, and it's going to have camera features that simply the Galaxy S24 just won't be able to do. Now, you're gonna to have to decide, is spending $300 more to get those fancy camera features on the Ultra really worth it? I would say that for most people watching this, that you don't need it. The Galaxy S24 Plus is gonna to deliver tons of great capabilities. It's gonna have all those fancy AI features so that you can tweak your photography and edit things after the fact to make them look as good as possible. 
It's just gonna have everything that you need and nothing that you don't. I understand that there are a lot of Samsung fans out there who probably are really angry watching this video because they think the Ultra is the be all end all phone and worth every penny. And that might be true for a lot of people who are power users, who need their smartphone to do specific things and need the best of the best when it comes to cameras. But if you're like me, you don't care about the S Pen, you don't really care for the design of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you don't like its weight, you don't like its edges digging into your palm, and you don't really care much about those fancy camera features because you know this can deliver the basic shots you need, really save yourself the money and get the Galaxy S24 Plus instead.